I dropped off those transformers or transistors, whatever the hell they were. I dropped them off yesterday morning in LA, right, you guys? And then I had the full deck open. I spent like five hours. I was doing other stuff. You know, I didn't just spend five hours on this one thing, but I was trying to get this truck. I loaded up this stuff with my direct customer, right? No problem. And then I was trying to get this truck to go along with it. And I was like struggling with it. It was, it just, and it ended up last night. I got pissed off and I just said, F it, you know, and uh, <laughs> I'm going to Vegas with this. So this is, <laughs> I don't know, maybe, you know, 500, 600 pounds and uh, it's $850. It is two drops, um, but it's Southern California to Vegas. Quick little boom. I, I would have loved to roll cars over it. This would have been the perfect candidate for that, but I just didn't find you know, what made sense uh, for the area that I was in and the time frame and this, you know, all of the, all of the things had to be right. And of course the money. I mean, there's plenty of cars out there, but if they're paying $150, it's not worth my time to load two of them <laughs> and haul two of them for $150. I would much rather go to Vegas just like this. It's what, 200 miles or a little bit over 200 miles. This is low, this is light. My truck is not struggling. My trailer is fine. You know, if I go and haul two vehicles, yeah, I could have found them, you guys, I could have but they would not have been worth my time. Because once you put a vehicle, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000 pounds on your trailer, your MPG changes. Right now I'm getting 13 miles to the gallon. My MPG is gonna change to 10 miles to the gallon. And even though it's only 225 miles, that $300, for example, that I would have grossed if I would have picked up two cars for 150 bucks, that's two invoices, that's two freaking payments that I gotta babysit and wait a, you know, a, a thousand years to get paid a stupid $150, you know, um, I just, eh, you know what? I had one, my eye on one truck that was, it, it was an F, F-150 and it was within an hour of where I was when I loaded this stuff and it was paying 375 bucks. Now, okay, for 375 bucks, hey, I can do that, right? Um, that's almost two bucks a mile on one vehicle. I would have happily hauled that one, but it required appointments, it required all this stuff, and you know, it just took too long. Anyways, long story short. So I got pissed off yesterday and I said, oh, okay, well, I'm going to Vegas just like this. Yeah, my trip, you know, this is still two bucks, you know, this is, well, this is way over two bucks a mile. What is this, four bucks a mile? This is like almost four bucks a mile, and I'm getting wonderful MPG. I love my DC, I love her to death. She's just an amazing woman. Um, just freaking amazing. You know, you guys think like I'm amazing and that's what I think of this lady, right? <laughs> so um, I love her to death. So now what is the plan for me, right? So I'm gonna go drop this stuff off to Vegas because that's what she asked me to do, right? No problem. But I need to get home, you guys. My kid is turning 20 in like a week or something. She's turning 20, right? She'll no longer be a teenager. And um, back in like December, I bought these um, country music festival tickets um, for a spot in San Antonio. So, uh, it's this weekend. Today is Tuesday. <laughs> the festival starts on Friday. <laughs> so, I gotta go. I am in a, like a mad rush. I booked one, one car out of Vegas so far, and I've been kind of like hitting a wall with more vehicles. Um, if push comes to shove, I'm just gonna book, you know, I'm gonna probably just book um, something. I'm probably just gonna book something so that I can get back home, but um, we'll see. I'm gonna keep working at it. I still have time, but for now, I'm gonna uh, get on down the road and get towards Vegas so that I can start getting these offloaded and then I'll keep looking for additional freight or vehicles, you know, something to take me back east to Texas so that I can get home in time so we can go to our music festival and um, enjoy ourselves, hopefully. So that's the plan. So let's see um, if I can make all that happen. Mm, pues, no sirven para nada entonces. Yeah. Okay, well, here they are. Donde? Yo te ayudo si quieres. I'm trying to drop off this first little bundle here. All right, no, nada más adentro? Simple. Okay. Quick little drop, right? Um, and then I have, so this is Vegas, and then I got one to drop off. In, I got one to drop off in Henderson. The rest of the stuff on my trailer is going to drop off in Henderson. And um, both of my vehicles, I was able to grab another vehicle. So both of my vehicles are coming out of the same yard in Henderson and they're both going to um, New Mexico. So that was the, like, the, the best I could find. And I might grab some more vehicles out of New Mexico. Might not, depends on what their prices are. You know, if they're too cheap, then I'll just go home empty, I don't care. We'll see how that goes. Uh, that'll, be a, that'll be an issue for tomorrow. That's not a today issue, that's a tomorrow issue. So <laughs> let's get unloaded and reloaded and get on down the road. I love coming to the same places, you guys. I love getting off of the load board and coming to the same shippers, the same receivers. It's like coming home, you know? Every time I do a delivery, I'm like, honey, I'm home. <laughs> People just laugh at me, but that's how it feels like, you know? I mean, I've been coming here for years, three years at least, maybe more, four, I don't know. And uh, it's pretty cool, it's pretty cool. It's cool to, um, you know, be on the load board, which I am a bunch, right? And you go and you see different places and stuff like that, but it's, it's cool to just be able to 
come to the same places as well. You already know how to get in there. You know how to get out. You know where's the closest fuel. You know, <laughs> you know all that stuff. So just waiting for the forklift guy. I uh, already checked in, and um, he's gonna push these off. We're gonna get these off real quick, and um, not too far. I think five miles or less uh, from the two vehicles coming out of the storage yard. So we'll get that done in just. A second. It was exactly five miles, you guys. Exactly five miles. So I can see the Jaguar. That's the Jaguar. I can see that one. I'm gonna throw that one on first because it's coming off last. And then I'm gonna look around and find that black F-150. Oh, it's probably right there. Bam, and I'm parked right there. Bam, so simple. I'm gonna be in and out of here within 30 minutes. Watch. All right, number one's loaded. Let's go after that F-150. I think that's it. Once I load this one up, I'll show you guys both of them. We're getting out of here. I got a bunch of miles to chew up if I wanna keep on schedule. Oh my God, you guys. <laughs> this truck has no reverse. <laughs> I almost died <laughs> pushing an F-150 out of its parking spot in reverse, 15 feet. <laughs> Woo, that was a new one. So that means I gotta line this sucker up just right because I do not have reverse. I got plenty of drives, look, see? We, we can go forward. We are not going backwards. So uh, it'll be one that we push off, off of the trailer, but uh, I'm definitely not gonna leave it there. No, I didn't go into the office. No, I didn't ask a man for help. No, I didn't bitch to the broker. I fucking do not have time for that shit. I'm getting it done. I pushed it back 15 feet. It wasn't the end of the damn world for me. And I'm gonna put it on my freaking trailer and I'll figure it out at the other end. I just do not care. So here we are. Let's line it up. Just... Da -da 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 -da. All done. Let's get the heck out of here. I'm tired. It's, it's already getting hot, you guys. This Vegas uh, heat ain't no joke. It ain't for the weaklings like me who's been being in her comfortable house for many, many months and not working that much. And I'm in pants. It's uh, it's shorts weather, man. Shorts and tank tops, which I did not pack this trip. So uh, that's gonna change for my next trip because F this, it's time to tan the legs. Ooh, let's get on down the road. Good morning, good morning, good morning, you guys. That's, it's, uh, oh, it's early. Um, I'm trying to get some coffee here at the Loves, but it looks like everybody's like parked. I wanna top off my deaf and get coffee and everybody's parked at the fuel aisles. So um, trying to be patient. <laughs> Um, but anyways, you guys, so um, we're already in New Mexico, right? I'm a couple hours away from dropping my um, my F-150 at the dealership in Albuquerque. And then I just booked another vehicle. I booked, uh, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I booked a Ram, uh, Ram 1500 out of Albuquerque that's going to El Paso. So the um, Jaguar, hey, that Jaguar is freaking clean, dude. It's like a 2008. Um, that's a nice, you know, I mean, if you like Jaguars, um, I always wanted to buy my mom a Jaguar. Like that was, I was like in my twenties and I was like, if I buy my mom a Jaguar, I freaking made it, you know, that was always a goal, but that's what that Jaguar reminds me of. <laughs> it's like those days, you know, a long time ago. But anyways, uh, my mom said she don't want a Jaguar no more. I told her I'll buy you a Jaguar mom. She's like, no, nah, I don't want one no more. I'm like, okay. <laughs> But um, anyways, you guys, so I, 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 we're going to drop off the 150. We're going to pick up a 1500. It goes down to El Paso. The Jaguar goes to um, Las Cruces, Las Cruces, New Mexico. Um, and I'm just kind of waiting, you know. Oop, my turn. I got to get me my coffee. Uh, so I'll show you guys these uh, next vehicles in just a few, uh, couple minutes. All right, all right, all right. Let's roll this F-150 off that don't got no freaking reverse. I don't give a crap. I was already there at the shipper. I'm like, I'm not leaving this behind. I do not care. I will figure this shit out. So I got it on there. I'm sure I can roll it down the ramps. It's going right here to uh, this uh, giant used car dealership here in Albuquerque. So let me get this one down, you guys, and uh, we'll keep on keeping on. I don't know, you guys. I swear to you, the truck had no reverse. Oh, yeah. Okay, there it goes. <laughs> I was like, I swear to you guys, it had no reverse at origin. I just turned it on right now, and it felt like it wanted to have reverse. So let me try this again. Not that this is my problem, but it would be nice if I don't have to push it to get it going. So let me try this again. I don't know, might be having a transmission problem by looking at the RPMs. Nope. No reverse. Okay. Gotta push that it. That was some sketchy shit. <laughs> Woo! That was sketchy. Hey, pushing it off by yourself and then making sure you jump your ass back in before it gets away from you. <laughs> Woo, that was fun. <laughs> All right, let me, <laughs> let me take my pictures and get the hell out of here. This is why I will pick up another vehicle, you guys. It's going on my way to Las Cruces, right? And it's literally picking up five miles down the road. Like, 
I'm already gonna drive the four hours. I might as well, you know, make the extra 300. It's not a lot of money, but I'm already going there. I already have a spot on my trailer. I'm already gonna get 10 miles to the gallon, whether I haul the stupid Ram 1500 or not. Like it's just, it's gonna happen, right? Cause I already have one vehicle on my trailer. So I'm, I'm working on loaded miles. So I might as well get the damn $300. I'm already going, it's five miles away. It's gonna take me 15 minutes to load this sucker up. So let's go get it. I'm telling you guys, you always have to double check everybody's freaking work. I walk up into this dealership. I'm like, I'm here for a 2024 Ram 1500. It's going to El Paso, and he's like, "Oh yeah, yeah, I know which one it is." And they, okay, the Ram TRX. Oh yeah, that one's going to El Paso. So I scan the bin, right? And I'm like, "No, this is a different bin than the broker gave me. Um, you need to check the bin that I have to ensure that I'm hauling the right vehicle." So they were gonna let me just drive off with this probably over a hundred thousand dollar, almost a hundred thousand dollar truck, and it would have been a mistake. And I told him, "Look, I just I can't have mistakes today. I gotta get home. I got a music festival to go to, so just." Just word for the wise, always double check. So now they sent me with the right keys. Oh yeah, it's across the street in the lot with all the other 50,000 white Ram 1500 big horns. I'm pushing the button for 10 minutes, you guys. Ain't no, ain't no truck over there that's my truck. So now I come back to the dealership all the way back here. Now they're gonna find get a porter who has to get a jumper box because it's somewhere else and it's probably dead. So my little easy $300 bill is starting to piss me off. <laughs> and that's how it is sometimes, you know. But I'm gonna go pull my straps out and pull my ramps out and hopefully by the time I'm done with that, this man will show up with my truck that I need. Now we're good. And I had time while the porter was looking for the ram, I had time to pull off the uh, Jaguar, put it in the correct position because it's my first off in Las Cruces. And then that one will drop in El Paso. Ta-da, we're here in Las Cruces. <laughs> it's 3.30. I'll be dropping off the truck hopefully in about half an hour. It's gonna take me about 10 minutes to drop this one. I've been to this shop before, this uh, dealership before, so real cool guy. Uh, called him about 10 minutes ago, so he's meeting me here. And uh, say goodbye to the Jag. Gotta go. All right, there she is, I just dropped her off. I parked a little ways away, cause it's El Paso, there's nothing but one way, so. Parked down the street, so I'm gonna walk over there and then uh, we'll take a look at the mileage and uh, the money for this entire week. All right, all right, all right. There's the dealership way up there. Now we're back in the truck. <laughs> this is all miles, you guys. This is all miles since I left my house last Tuesday. It is now Thursday, 5, 5.30. See that? 5.30. So uh, I took $4,500 out from Texas to California. And then I did one little car from San Diego to LA. That was 200 bucks. So $4,700 out. And I started making my way out of California with uh, the first drop was direct freight for uh, my customer um, from Southern California to Las Vegas. And then from Vegas, I grabbed the Jag and the F-150 that did not have reverse. Uh, the Jag was 850 and the F-150 was 585. And then um, I dropped off the F-150 this morning, picked up the Ram that we just dropped off now. That was an extra $300. So the, the return trip totaled 2585. That is a total of 70, $7,285, $7,285. Um, my return trip is a little bit light. I've been messing around with cars and you know stuff like that, you guys. And it's just because, you know, I've got this, um, uh, music festival that I have to get back home to tomorrow. Um, I don't live anywhere near El Paso, but um, I am now pretty much out of time. Like I have to get back so I can pack and prepare so we can go Friday, Saturday, Sunday for this music festival. Um, so the return trip is a little bit light on the money. What I would have done if I was not in a time crunch, rather than just make my way back with these vehicles and kind of bought my way back um, from Vegas, I would have just grabbed two cars right back to Southern California because there's not much out of Vegas. So grab two cars, go right back to Southern California the next day and um, reload a really nice juicy return trip back to Texas or wherever I wanted to go next. But because I was in a time crunch, right? Um, I did not do that. So um, I did the best that I could. It's a little bit light. It's nine days, 72.85. I've done a lot better um, and I've done worse in nine days. So, <laughs> um, so it is what it is, but um, you know, I'm, I'm gonna go pick up the kid and we're gonna go prepare for this uh, music festival and um, we're gonna have fun and you know I, I, I probably if I would have gone from Vegas to Southern California and then from Southern California back to Texas I probably should have made in the I would say the forty five hundred to five thousand dollar range um, anywhere from four to five thousand dollars from Vegas to SoCal and then SoCal back to Texas at you know roundabout but I don't have time to do that didn't have time to do that so um, did the best that I could on the return trip you guys I'm gonna shut this video down because all these miles that I'm about to haul are not being covered by anybody but Natalie because this is what Natalie wants to do is go home for the music festival so um, those those miles don't really count and um, so I'm gonna shut this video down you guys be safe take care of yourselves take care of one another and take care of your equipment and um, I will post some videos on Natalie's hotshot no sorry Natalie's ranch adventure <laughs> on the other YouTube channel um, about the music festival hopefully we have fun we're gonna camp out there so that will be an experience as well and um, I'll share that with you guys on the other channel